some of this are you loves tangerines he really does this manner so i'm gonna be having an egg salad for lunch i'm gonna chop this up i'm boiling two eggs for myself one for uthman and well you are uthman are you or are you someone else i have an imposter in my home yeah so just waiting for these to boil and i'm very hungry right now guys I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of this cottage cheese and sweet corn. This egg salad actually looks and smells so good. I'm gonna add a bit of pepper, add a little bit of salt on the eggs, just a tad, not much. And I've got my coffee here. What's it got to do with being married? I don't know, because we drive off in cars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it a nice ride, my darling? <laughs> Bye! <laughs> it's like a, what are those go-karts, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So it's dinner time now and um, this is my dinner so I've got these sweet potato wedges I just cut a sweet potato up and I'd marinated the chicken so I've got a chicken leg I took the skin off for myself yeah so I marinated it yesterday and I just kind of dipped the sweet potato wedges that I cut in the marinade and then popped it in the oven looks very nice now and shall I fill me up because I'm quite hungry and I put like loads of mixed veg also to fill me up the kids and Akela having uh, chips homemade chips chicken wings i put a bit of sweet potato on uh, their plates and Akil's taking his to work it's about half seven now and I'm having uh, this yogurt apricot low fat one so hungry like really really hungry so that's why I'm having a banana as well I would have just had the yogurt so it's around midnight now I've just kind of done a bit of cleaning and sorting the kids sandwiches out for school tomorrow and I'm um, gonna have this to finish off my meals for the day earlier on I was just so hungry and I was about to give up but I thought no girl you can do it but anyway I wasn't meant to have this toast but I need something I need some energy so it's just a homemade slice of toast with a bit of margarine on and this is what I was gonna have anyway so this dark chocolate Peruvian dark choc from Aldi so I was gonna have a bar of that with some tea this is just a little extra just to keep me going and I've got my tea right here this is actually my first tea of the day I did have a coffee earlier but gosh the things I've achieved today <laughs> joke Here are all of the bed covers that I've pulled out of this cupboard that I've got to sort out. I started sorting them out earlier. So this is one double bed cover, another one here. Looks so much neater already. I'm really excited at the prospect of all of these being neatly piled here. So I've managed to organize it all. Um, I didn't show you a proper before, but it was a total mess. I'm really happy with the way it looks so these are the double bed covers and stuff these are the single so inside each of these pillowcases is a full duvet set yeah. let's see your teeth at you come on show everyone your teeth smile at mommy yeah. yeah okay so it's time to have dinner I'm just sorting out this uh, chickpea and potato salad yogurt salad let's just call it that it's like yeah. a jarred I've got my chopped potatoes here that I boiled earlier I'm gonna add this low fat natural yogurt this tin of chickpeas I'll chop up some cucumber and a tomato I think I'll add some red chilli flakes as well not too much though 
and I would have added some tamarind sauce. Is it imli? Is that what you call it? Is that the same thing? But um, I don't have any, so <laughs> so I can't add it. So I'm just going to add these ingredients, really. I'll let you know if I add anything else exciting, all right? I'm going to add some lemon juice, maybe. Mm. And some lemon wedges. So here's my food all served up. This is the fish curry, yummy. So obviously that's in the protein section. Rice is in the carb section. And I know this is technically not loads of veg because you've got potatoes in there. And that's obviously carbs and stuff. But yeah, on this occasion, this is the loads of veg. All right, guys. But it smells so good and I am so hungry. So bye till later. <laughs> so I'm in the mood for something sweet and I feel like baking and obviously because I'm eating healthier I have to bake something healthier so I've got a few recipe books from Poundland I've been collecting them over the years with all my Poundland hauls see they come to use you thought they didn't did you but there you go <laughs> but anyway I found this chocolate Swiss roll recipe looks tasty it's from this book here so just a hundred calories I think this Swiss roll has 12 servings and each serving is just 92 calories, you know. But anyway, here's the recipe I'm going to follow in case you want to try it out. So there's the ingredients. Go and get it, guys. Don't hold back. And here's your method right here. So I'll just slowly go down so that you can make your notes or whatever it is you could possibly do. But anyway, I'm going to try and follow this myself. I've never made it before. I'm not going to add the orange rind. I think it is that you need because I don't have any oranges in the house at the moment. Okay, let's get on. So the Swiss roll is ready to go in the oven now. I've got a youth hanging off me and he's trying to throw himself at the Swiss uh, roll. I can't blame him. Uh, but apparently he just needs to go in for 8 to 10 minutes. So that's alright. So I'm going to pop this in the oven now. So it's been about 8 minutes and it's definitely cooked really fast. So now to try and uh, roll it into a Swiss roll. Don't know how to do this, but I'll try. So that's the best rolling I could do. It's uh, kind of broken, but it's okay. I just need to wait for it to cool now and then I can uh, fill it and this is all I need for the filling really this soft cheese lighter soft cheese and some honey So the Swiss roll is ready, looks a little bit messy but it still looks okay to me, tasted it very tasty actually considering it's not that unhealthy. So it's 92 calories a slice, what I'm going to do I'm actually going to split this into 6 slices, yes that's a bit more isn't it, that's 184 then. So these are the frames that I got. There's three of them here. I got them on offer from Poundland. They were 50 pence each. And I didn't really like them. But I thought I can do a little something, something with them. I'm going to use some of this glitter. It's from the kids craft thingies. And this car spray paint. It's in uh, silver. And it's not ideal to use in the house. But it's fine. <laughs> and I don't even know if there's enough left. Ayub's excited. And I don't even know if there's enough left. But we'll have a go.
I was actually all out of the silver one, so I'm using this white one instead. So I've kind of sprayed all the frames, it really stinks of a top in the front door, like this, yeah and I pretty much ran out of white paint, I hope it still looks alright. So for a sweet treat today I've got this fruit salad, literally just chopped up some fruit, tangerines, pears, apples, banana, tiny bit of raspberry in there, got it for the kids as well. And I'm just going to top it with a little bit of evaporated milk, not too much. I've told you about the snowballs, haven't mm. I? Well, I'm not Maybe. even eating anymore with it. Are you? So far we have a very pointed oh, snowman. Ayub's excited. No, you can't come out. It's too cold for you. Ayub can't believe it. it's his first time seeing snow. What, what is this stuff? What is this white stuff, huh, baby? What is it? What, what just, no, I don't know what will be, uh, no, be in there. What's, where, what is still this white stuff, my darling? I know, I can't believe either. You want to grab some? Yeah? You want some? What is it? It's all white and fluffy and cold. I know. I want to eat it too. That's the problem when you live somewhere where it barely snows. You don't know how to build a snowman. That's the body apparently. What's that? Is that for the head? Is that for the head? Fine. Saves gained the head. Is the head. Don't tell me that's the head. <laughs> Pea sized broken head. No, we don't do that here. Go and find it on top. Why are you kicking his head? It's not even a proper head before. And this is our snowman, apparently. I don't know why the head's so small. In it fire. <laughs> Yours was worse, save. Go and find it, add it on. Let's give him a bit of a bigger head. His big nose. Yeah, we like big noses in this house, definitely. Why is it? Okay, I like that. Okay, that'll do. It's like a melting snowman, isn't it? Like he's, he's turning into lava, which makes no sense. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix these. So I've got eggs, tomato, garlic, not using this bit. Two garlic cloves, some spring onion, a chilli, some beans. I think it'll taste nice. So it's evening time, the sun's kind of setting, the snow has gone pretty much. We've still got some here, the snowman has been destroyed, hasn't it baby? So I'm just about to make dinner, I'm just making a mincemeat spaghetti, 
it's a really quick easy one I'm going to show you how to make it because it's so quick and easy and you don't use the jars of sauces which are full of um, sugar and additives so it's much better just to use fresh ingredients I guess instead of the passata if you really want to go fresh just process some tomatoes but there's nothing dodgy in this passata anyway it's just sieved Italian tomatoes it says tomato 99% uh, acidity regulator citric acid and, th and that's it so it's pretty much natural you know and it's one of your five a day so that's that let me just get the mixed veg and then I can start okay so I'm using one onion just like a medium sized onion I'm gonna thinly slice that a tablespoon of uh, ginger I'll grate that a few cloves of garlic I've got about five ish there I'll grate that as well this green chili I'll just kind of thinly slice it I'll come back to the spices in a minute um, so I've got two cups of frozen mixed veg here a bit of oil to cook it in um, I'm gonna use this whole tub of passata 500 grams it's a bit blurry on screen but I believe me guys when I tell you 500 grams and then this spaghetti the whole packet is uh, 500 grams too. sorry and then I've got some minced meat this is just lamb mince I think and that's about 300 grams I think so the spices and salt I'm using half a tablespoon of salt one teaspoon of healthy or turmeric powder one teaspoon of coriander powder one teaspoon of garam masala I've got a pan on uh, medium heat I'm gonna pop some oil in uh, some flour oil about a tablespoon not much you don't need because this meat minced meat has got fine anyway so I'm just gonna pop the minced meat in straight away just build it up I'm gonna sprinkle over a bit of salt not much probably half a oh gosh I wasn't meant to put that much in that's a teaspoon ish about half a teaspoon and I'm gonna brown the mince So the mince is looking nice and brown now. I'm going to add in the frozen mixed veg. And then just mix that in and we're going to cook that until the frozen mixed veg is no longer frozen. And while the mince and frozen veg is cooking, I'm going to put the spaghetti on. I like to break mine in half, the spaghetti sticks. Leave them full if you want. I just find it easier to eat and cook like that and then uh, sprinkle over some salt it's probably about a teaspoon and I'm just gonna pour over a kettle full of water so I like to kind of dry off all the water from the mince and the frozen veg so then it looks kind of like this add in the onions garlic ginger and chili Mix it in. cook that for a few minutes until the onions are a little bit soft and i'm going to add in the spices and salt And I'm adding in half a cup of water. I'll just add it in cold water. Add boiled water if you wish to do so. So the mince has been cooking for about five ish, seven ish minutes. Looking nicely well cooked. Much less smells really nice. And I'm gonna pour in the passata now. So the whole tub, stir that in. And then when it comes to the boil, I'm going to turn it off, basically. And that's it. That'll be our mince uh, pasta sauce done.
What a beautiful day, guys. Ayub, Ayub clearly loves it. <laughs> Come on, darling, let's go. So I've got 20 fish fingers here. I think three per burger should be fine. So I'm going to pop this in the oven now. The fish fingers are ready now. Here's all my supplies. So these are the fish fingers I use, by the way. They're from Aldi. Just cod fish fingers. Use two boxes of those. These are the muffins or the rolls or the baps that I'm using. So I'm going to have a whole meal one. A kale and a, the kids are going to have them. A white one. And here's everything for the tartar sauce. So the gherkins, kippers, <laughs> lemon. Um, it says half an onion, but I'm going to use the whole thing because these are tiny and some mayonnaise. And I'm just using the bird's eye tartar sauce recipe on their website. So here you go guys, just using that. There you go. And there you go guys. So I've chopped up the onions. I'm actually gonna pop this in the microwave. It doesn't say to do it on that recipe, but I've done it in the past. Put it in some water. So I've got some water here, just cold water. Put the onions in here and then warm it for about a minute and then um, just so it's not too oniony. So on my bap, I'm using a wholemeal one and instead of a cheese slice, I'm going to put some soft cheese on one side. Just a bit of there. I'll do. And then three fish fingers is enough. Then I'm going to top with some lettuce and uh, the tartar sauce, like a nice tablespoon of it on the other side. And then pop it on top. And that's the beauty right there. And these are the muffins for the kids. Ultimate fish finger sandwich indeed. So here's my lunch everyone, I went all out, I thought I'm going to go all out, I went all out. So I've got a wholemeal um, muffin or bun, just chopped it in half, toasted it a little. I've got, <laughs> Ayub's on his way, I've got a cheddar slice, cheese slice on each one. I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, that's melted. And then I've got two poached eggs, don't go for my coffee dad, don't go for my food either. He's going to put his hands right in. Poached egg on each one and then topped it with some let lettuce and uh, tomato, got some gherkins there and I've got Ayub's hand right there as well. And of course a coffee.
You like the pigeons, baby? Have you seen them all having a party? They didn't invite us. <laughs> okay? Some book recommendations if you haven't read them. This one, they're both by the same author, Kesra Shiraz. The Holy Woman's really good. I really enjoyed that. And then, <laughs> this is like a sequel to it, I think. <laughs> On. The koala who could. Look, baby, the koala who could. In a wonderful place at the breaking of dawn, where the breezes were soft and the sunshine was warm. A place where the creatures were mm. wild and played free. A koala called Kevin clung to a tree. No, don't like it. Right. Go on, explore the library, darling. Go on. No. So we've just popped to Asda near the library and picked up some much needed teething gel in it ah. baby we drawn out and we need it badly don't we my baby ah. and right now he's driving the car good boy <laughs> Time for some junk food. It's because it's the holidays.
dinner is ready. This chicken curry looks so yummy. So simple yet so yummy looking, mashallah. Just some plain boiled rice. This is my veg here. It's a lovely sunny day, <laughs> mashallah. Where's the other Oh, Faye! Come on! Okay, okay Bismillah, go! You ready? Yeah, are you ready? Go on! Go on, man, go! Go, Seb, go! Yeah! Yay! Take a fish out there. On top of my car, boy. Hey, come on. <laughs> Let's go to Asda, then we go to BM, 
We have lots of fun. Okay, baby. Look at all these wonderful Easter eggs. Look. Mashallah, good boy. So this is how beautiful the tiles are looking right now. Usually Akil puts some bleach on it. He's been really busy as well. So yeah, it's just kind of been left like that. Let's spray this more spray on and um, see how it goes. So it does really just smell of bleach and it's quite strong. So I'm not even going to rub it in. I'm just spraying it kind of all over. Let's see up here. I don't know if you're meant to scrub it in but I don't feel like doing that especially because it's like strong chemicals uh, there you go so I'm going to leave that for like 30 minutes and then wipe it off and see how it looks so it's been a good few hours I think it's done quite good considering I'm not scrubbed it or anything so you're meant to wipe it down with a wet sponge and then um, treat it again for stubborn stains which uh, these certainly look like. I think I'll just rinse it down with some water, hot water. Spray some more on, see if it comes off fully. I'm gonna spray it again. Up here. Okay, so I've come back about 10 minutes later and it looks so much better, doesn't it? So, yeah, I've just sprayed it again. <laughs> I'm going a bit crazy with the spray, but I'm impressed. So I'll show you if it like completely clears it up. I've actually not wiped it or rubbed it um, or anything. So no manual labor involved thus far. Hello. It's Easter egg Hello. time. Easter egg season. Yummy. So I'm going to share this. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Ayub, Ayub's looking at it like I want it, especially a gold shiny egg. Mm. Yeah. Look at the 
beautiful weather today. Wow, even hailstones. What are you doing with the can of Rubicon, eh? It's not open, it is closed. In case you think we give this baby a full can of Rubicon mango. <laughs> <laughs> One side of my umbrella is flapping! Flappy umbrella, flappy bed. <laughs> Who remembers that? And I really need it now. Look how much it's raining. If you can tell. So it's time to make some pizza now. Here's uh, the pizza dough. So for the beef mince part of the pizza, I'm going to brown the mince in a bit of oil. So basically just some oil and the mince. I'm going to brown it a bit. In this plate I've got like half an onion sliced, a few olives sliced, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cumin powder and, and about a quarter teaspoon of red chili flakes. I think the amount of mince used is about 300 grams, you know. So once the mince browns, I'm just gonna add this in and cook it a bit. So the pizzas are ready now, mashallah, they look so good. So I've got two of the beef and chili ones, this one and this one. There was a bit of spare dough, so I made this tiny little pizza. You can have that, go on then. I made a pepperoni and sweet corn one here. I didn't have any more pizza trays. I do need to buy more actually, but I don't make pizza that often. But I may start doing so if these turn out quite nice. So I'm going to pop these in the oven now and I can't wait to see how they turn out. I'm also going to put some wedges in the oven as well. I also had some uh, kima left over and this is perfect for like uh, kima and cheese toasties. So I'll probably make use of this tomorrow.
So I'm going to measure out 125 grams of everything. All I'm using, caster sugar, self-raising flour, two eggs, half of this unsalted butter, 125 grams like I said, and a teaspoon of baking powder. So let's start by measuring one to five grams of caster sugar into this bowl. That. And then 125 grams of this butter. So I'm just going to put it in half. Measure it. Bing. Oh, 123, my friends. Not a bad woman. Well, that's 125. Well, I'll put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds or a minute so that I can whisk it with the sugar because otherwise it's just a bit too hard. That's all right. I'm going to add the butter to the sugar in the mixing bowl and then whisk that together. And then I'm going to add in the eggs. And then whisk that. And then I'm going to sift in the flour and uh, baking powder. So I'll just put it onto here. Got my sift pop that on top now let's measure one two five grams of self-raising flour and about a teaspoon of baking powder and then sift it in and I'm just gonna fold the flour in to no. the wet ingredients uh. are you just sat here he's gonna stick his hands in no, no. Don't do it, baby. It's not worth it. Don't lose yourself over cake. I lost myself a long time ago. That's fine. It's all sturdy. Don't want to over mix it because then that gets rid of the air bubbles and then it's less fluffy. And we love a fluffy cake. So that's what that's looking like. And finally, I'm going to transfer it into the lined cake tin. No, no, leave that, my darling. Leave it. Just leave it there, yeah? How about, how about you just leave that there? Pa. No? No? Pa. No? Baby, pa. No? Okay. Pa. You're ruining it. Pa. No, darling, no. <laughs> okay, let's quickly pull it in before he grabs it again. Okay, no. Ooh, fluffy, yeah, you. Fluffy, doffy. Whatever that means. Spread it a little. Right, that's ready. So I'm going to put that in the oven. I think it's 160 fan, 180 centigrade. For about, I think about 30 minutes. I can't remember, it's been so long since I've baked. But anyway, it's going in the oven now. Bye. And why not watch Inside Out? We it's a cute seen. movie. Yeah, I know. We've seen it a few times. Yeah. First, we've already seen Avengers. Yeah, but you don't watch it all the time. Mm. Oh, that makes it all right. Good boy. So the cake is ready. It's kind of dipped in the center because I opened it too early. The oven and uh, that's a bit sad but it smells and looks so good so i'm gonna cut into this make some tea and then breakfast is ready So we're back now. I really shouldn't have got another book, but I did. Cecilia Ahern, thanks for the memories. I don't think I've read this one, but I've read loads of hers. 
Uh, it sounds egg. nice. A chocolate egg, yes. Egg. I wasn't the only one to get one. The kids got some as well. Some cheese, these sweet clams. Okay, I'll pick those up. Some avocados. I'm gonna have some avocado and egg on toast in a bit, inshallah. Curly fries. I wanted wedges, but they didn't have any in stock. So I just got these curly fries instead. So I'm gonna make like a Mexican meal, I guess. So I got this quesadilla, however you say it, kit. And then this tasty taco kit as well. I might use both, I might not. And then I got these seedless green grapes, which were on offer for 80 pence. This jar of jalapenos. And finally, this creamy garlic sauce. It's raining even more now, if that was possible. A very wet day. So I've got eight eggs in here. Just some tomatoes, chopped tomatoes and spring onion here. I'm gonna add that in. I'll add in some salt and pepper and then fry it. Lunch is ready, so I'm having uh, poached egg, avocado and tomato on uh, wholemeal toast and a coffee of course. Everyone else is having the tacos with eggs. What are you doing, darling? He lost a sock along the way. Where are you going? Wanna get past me? Of course, my darling. Go on, mashallah. Oh, my little penguin. Looks like a penguin, mashallah. Good boy. Yeah, he made it. He made it. The adventures of an 11 month old. Where's he going? He's going straight to his brother, seeing what food he's got on offer. Okay, just kind of steal his crisp packet, why don't you? Why are you sniffing it? Oh, no, 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 darling. <laughs> then off on his way again. <laughs> a You're not feeling dizzy, are you, with all that walking in circles? My classic salmon fish cake recipe, which I love with capers and lemon stuff. And then I'm going to serve it two ways. Back this way? Serving it with smoked paprika aioli. Back to the brother. Mm. <laughs> He's like, why are you following me, silly woman? He likes getting the pots and containers out of the cupboard and um, playing with them. Are you what you doing, Danny? Are you what you doing? What? Well, Alright, okay, thanks for letting me know. You're putting the square part into the round one, which is smaller. Boy, now you're dressed. You should know better. You no, I'm joking. <laughs> he likes putting things inside other things. That's the stage he's at at the moment. And he'd get frustrated if it doesn't go in. How about, look, how about we put this one in here? You can do that. Wow, yeah, well, okay, is that no? I'd rather just put the lid on it, mother. Why are you doing stupid things, mom? Isn't it? Why are mama doing stupid things? Like, the container's got a lid. Put it on. And he's going to get frustrated because he can't do that that easily. Come on. Come on. Let's do it carefully. Together we can achieve, my son. Okay, is that no? Like, get off. I want to do it myself. Come on. Why are you snatching it off me? Come on. <laughs> 
Do you try? Go, go. He's really pulling it. No, you don't want me to help you. Okay then, be like that. Stubborn young man. Okay, anyway, yeah, so that, that's Ayub's uh, mission right now and I think I'm going to go in and, um, yeah, relax. What are you putting in your top? You need help taking it out? Uh. Come here. So I've cut up one onion, put some oil in a pan, it's on a high heat, leave it on a high heat because we're going to really brown the onions. Pretty much burn them to give the rice the colour. And here's my coated fish pieces. It's just cod fillet. So the onions are cooking, burning nicely. So here's the spices that I'm going to use. Um, so it's half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon, I think, of uh, coriander powder, one teaspoon of uh, ground cumin, one teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, a few bay leaves, a few whole black peppers, and a few cloves. I'm using 450 grams of rice. I've just soaked it in water and that's been soaking for about a few hours. And I've boiled water in the kettle. I'm gonna add uh, 900 mils of water to that boiled water, hot boiled water. So double the amount of rice. Okay, I think I've burnt them enough. <laughs> they look uh, burnt to a crisp. So I'm going to add the spices and salt. Stir it in. And I've drained the rice here. And I'm just going to add it in now. And stir that in. I would have liked to add some either garden peas or chickpeas but unfortunately I've run out and the last thing I'm going to do is add in 900 ml of boiled water right stir it in That's fine, so I'm going to wait till it comes to the boil, um, turn it down to the lowest heat and allow it to simmer for like 10 minutes and then hopefully our brown rice, pilau rice really, without anything added to it, is done. Right, so it's come to the boil, turning it down, pan lid on and in 10 minutes I'm going to turn it off and um, just leave it like cooking in its steam like with the cooker turned off and the rice will be even nicer so yeah that's pretty much done so the salad has been uh, cut that's nice and ready i'm gonna fry the fish now so i just got a frying pan with some oil in i'm gonna turn this off in like two minutes so i'm turning it off off and just leave it on the hob for like 10 minutes or until I serve it. And the last thing I'm going to make is a minty yogurt, this mint sauce and some low fat natural yogurt, mix the two together. So let's have a look at this rice now, it's been about 20 minutes from when I turned it off. Ooh, pretty. The colour looks nice, mashallah. So what I like to do, I just like to pick all the onions. Not all of them, but uh, as much as I can. Because the kids kind of get annoyed uh, picking them out of their food. And it's helpful that they're all at the top. So, yeah, I'm just going to pick them out. Put them in the bin. Food bin. 
and uh, then I can serve. Obviously there'll be some bits left in there but it's fine. I've picked off quite a bit of the onions, here they are. I'm just going to mix this together without ruining it, hopefully. And dinner is nice and ready now. So you got your rice, you got your fish, the lovely salad, and the mint yogurt sauce. So yeah, I think this would be like a really nice iftar meal. That's what comes to my mind um, now that I'm looking at it here. So perfect for iftar or when you're breaking your fast in Ramadan. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna serve and munch, inshallah. interesting I feel like I'm in Turkey so hammam it's just off Wimslow Road oh look what's greeting us at our front door it's a little ladybird there was a ladybird on our letterbox on the inside of our door a few days ago I wonder if it's the same one are you the same one are you got this really colorful ball from pound stretcher for Ayub it was one pound 49 he loves it, it's just so bright and colourful, isn't it Dali? Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly show you my shopping. I went to a few different shops, yeah. I went to Lidl, <sighs> Lidl, uh, Poundland, Asda and Pound Stretcher. So um, yeah, it was a bit of a mission. So for the tiramisu, uh, I needed these sponge fingers. I couldn't see any in Lidl, so I had to go Asda for these. It was about 95 pence. Got some mascarpone cheese or however you say it. This is from Lidl. What is it, my darling? I ain't talking to you, boy. But if you want me to, I will. Um, I think this was like 70-something or 90-something pence. So, yeah, that's for the tiramisu as well. I'm going to use some apple juice instead of um, alcohol or brandy. I think this is a good substitute, apparently. <laughs> Got these two pots of double cream. Yeah, also for the tiramisu. These are from Lidl. This was from Asda. I got these butter balls or puffs from um, Pound Stretcher. They're like 69 pence for a three pack, not bad. Also got these bin bags from um, Pound Stretcher. These are really good. Like I got some from B&M recently. They were so rubbish, like really weak. They ripped really easily. So I bought these a few times and the kids are like, can you make sure you get these bin bags? These are the really exciting conversations we have everyone about bin bags. I think they were like 69 pence each. Got these Mr. Men and Little Miss books. These are cute, so they've got some new ones in. If you've watched my videos from before, you'll know I've got loads and loads of these. And Poundland, I've got a few more in. So I picked them up. And Uthman likes me to read them to him at night. Got some cheeky monkey snacks for the kids. Um, these are vegan, actually, if anyone is interested. They taste nice as well. So yeah, they're cute. And then from Lidl, I got this table runner. So this is our table at the moment. And I took the tablecloth off. Yeah, every time I bought one from B&M, it just got really, really dirty. So I thought, there's no point. I'm not going to get one of those white clean tablecloths because it stains really easily. So I thought this might look nice instead. So I'll put that on in a minute. And um, I think it's about time we start making our dessert. So yeah, that's my shopping. And here's my little weekly magazine. I actually look forward to sitting down and reading these weeklies. That's how sad I am. So this is the recipe I'm going to be following. It's on the BBC Good Food website. I'll put a link to it in the description. So here's a list of the ingredients. I'm replacing the masala with the apple juice. That's the wine. Instead of golden caster sugar, I'm just using normal caster sugar. So these are the ingredients that I bought that I just showed you. These are the ones that I've got at home. So I've got my caster sugar. This is the hazelnut flavoured instant coffee that I bought a while ago from Aldi. Got some cocoa powder and this 25 grams of uh, dark chocolate. <laughs> you find it very funny, don't you, my darling? It's from a five pack that I got from Aldi and I usually have a bar at night. So Ayub's just gone to sleep, which I'm really glad about. I can actually make this in peace. It says put a five, six, eight mil pot of double cream into a mixing bowl. So there's, uh, how much in each one of these? There's 300 mils in this pot. 
all of that. Wow, that's a lot of double cream. And should I just put the whole thing in? What's the point of leaving like 32 mils? Just put it all in. So I'm just putting 600 mils in because what's the difference? So the double cream's in there. Then it says add 250 gram tub of mascarpone, which this is 250 grams, yes. So it's like cream cheese, but oh, much thicker. And then 75 mils of the masala. So that means uh, 75 mils of apple juice for us. For those of us who don't have the alcohol shut up. That's about right, I think. Just gonna pour that in. Five tablespoons of golden caster sugar. I'm just using normal caster sugar, like I mentioned already. One, two, and five. Whisk until the cream and the mascarpone have completely combined and have the consistency of thickly whipped cream. Um, I would have used the electric whisk, but I don't want to wake Ayub up, so I'll just use this hand whisk. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult to whisk with the really, really thick mascarpone cheese. Oh, it's going to be tasty. You can just tell. Oh, so creamy, so fattening, so delicious. And with coffee in, gosh. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. It's nice and thick and creamy, and well combined. So next I'm making the coffee part. So it says pour 300 ml of strong coffee into a shallow dish. So to make the coffee, uh, two tablespoons of coffee granules and 300 milliliters of boiling water. So put the coffee in here, this little bowl. It's 300 ml of water, boiled water. Mmm, smells so nice. I need me a coffee right about now. So now uh, we can make up the dessert, I guess. So, there's my coffee. This is what I'm gonna serve it in. Get my sponge fingers. It says you need 175 grams of sponge fingers. There's 200 grams in there. I'm just gonna use it all again. Like, what's the point leaving a bit? So I'm gonna soak half of the fingers in the coffee mixture and then layer it um, in this bowl here. So let's try and show you me trying to do that so just gonna dip it in the coffee it says for it to be soaked but not soggy so kind of dip it in and uh, yeah just layer it i guess So half of the soaked fingers are in there and then I'm going to layer over the cream mixture. So I'm going to use half of it. That's what it says. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm just delightful. Not sure why. And then it says to grate over most of this dark chocolate. So grate off like, I don't know, like three quarters of it. And yeah, I'm just going to grate that over. So that's what it's looking like so far. Doesn't it look so nice? So you just need to repeat the process. So soak the fingers in the coffee and then layer it on top, then layer the cream and then leave it in the fridge for a few hours or overnight and then decorate with some cocoa powder and the rest of the chocolate. Once you've soaked the sponge fingers in coffee, like any remaining coffee, just kind of pour that over. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this off now. I'm just going to dust it with cocoa powder now and sprinkle over the chocolate instead of doing it later. And the tiramisu is ready. It looks so good, mashallah. I'm going to put it in the fridge. Hopefully it'll get a few hours before we have it as dessert later. 
So I've put the table runner down. I think it looks cute. Obviously the pink matches the walls. So yeah, kind of brings it together. The kitchen's a bit of a mess right now, but yeah, if it was neat, it'd look nicer. Dinner's ready. So we've got white boiled rice. It's a lamb curry. It's quite a tomatoey one. Looks nice. And just some salad. So it's time for dessert now and I can't wait to try this out. I also really want to know what it looks like inside, so let us have a look. Kind of don't want to ruin it as well. Who's that? Is that? That's okay, Woke Wakun. That's great to know. <laughs> Say hello! Uh, Say hello, my name are you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. No, you can't. Why are you, why are you, why are you putting it against the table? <laughs> You're going to break it, my baby. No, I have a Are you helping me sort the washing out? It's okay, don't let it, don't let it topple you over, dear. Oh, bismillah. There you go, baby. Go on. Go do your job, boy. Let's do. Okay, bye. Hey. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to take the whole basket now. Okay. So I've got this tin of fruit cocktail that I bought a little while ago from Aldi. And I'm going to use half a pack of these digestives. First of all, excuse the noise from this little toy. This is from Ayub's bouncer when he was a little baby. Now he's a big boy, eh? Mashallah. And he just likes to put the music on. It even vibrates, look. Should we show them how it vibrates? Come on, come here with your smelly hands, babe. Wow, exciting, eh? Uh, oh, that's me, I'm overflowing. Let's turn that off, that's a bit noisy. Let's start this a little bit. Huh? What do you think? Better? No? Okay. So basically, I use like the fruit juice from this tin. I think it's about half a cup or a cup. It's been ages since I've made it. But instead of butter, I use this juice or syrup and mix it with the digestives to make the base. So I'll do that now. And um, I'm actually going to just pop it into this small cake tin uh, with the cake tin liner just because it's quicker and easier like that. And I'm going to process the digestives in this chopper thing. It's much quicker than using like a rolling pin. So I think I'll add like a cup of this juice from this fruit cocktail tin. Like there's only like half a cup anyway, so. Scratch that booze. It's like, if you can see, like about half a cup, three quarters. That's about all the juice I can squeeze out. But from what I remember, it's more than enough. And then just mix that together. This biscuit base tastes so nice. Anyone who's tried it, it does, doesn't it? I'm not lying, am I? And yeah, I'm just going to keep mixing that until it's like a bit of a thicker, smoother paste. And then I'm going to put it in the cake tin because I've got a U, it's a bit difficult. So I don't know if I can record, but I'm basically going to put it in the cake tin and then press it down. And I'll show you what it looks like then, yeah? So like it's kind of a thicker paste now, if you can see on my spoon. And then I'll press it into the cake tin and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So there's the biscuit base pressed into the cake tin. I'm going to put this in the fridge now. Um, you only need to put it in for like, uh, uh, like 30 minutes before you do the topping. But I'm going out anyway, so uh, it'll be in for longer. But yeah, it's going in the fridge now. Step one done. excited are you yes. are you very excited Yeah. 
So it's around midnight now, really late. I kind of realised that I haven't made the topping for the cheesecake. So that's just great. <laughs> so I have to do this before, obviously, bedtime. So I'm going to add this uh, fresh double cream. All of that. So that's 300 ml. All of this soft cheese, that's I think 250 grams. 50 grams of icing sugar. If I can like pour out like a tablespoon of the fruit juice from here, I'll add that in. Otherwise, I just won't bother adding it. So yeah, um, I'll make the topping or the filling right about now. So that's the cheesecake filling done and I'm just going to top with this fruit cocktail. I'll just spread it on kind of randomly, don't have the time for anything fancy right now. Not that I ever do. So I'm just going to spread this over the top and then pop it in the fridge till tomorrow inshallah. It's the next day, uh, let's have a look at this beautiful cheesecake, see if it looks nice inside. Mashallah, it looks nice. I can't wait to eat it, you know. So I'm about to tuck into this mm. cheesecake right now. Your shadow. So I've got a bag of chips, or batatas fritas, beautifully said, I know. And then I've got these two boxes of fabulous fish burgers. So two of those, and then i got one box of this veggie burger. I think I'm going to have a veggie burger. The rest of them fish burger. I think my eldest is going to have a veggie burger as well. Looks nice, doesn't it? It was kind of expensive, was it? It was um, like three, 3 99 euros. That's like, for one box, like pretty much four pound. That's kind of expensive in my books, but um, it's cheaper than um, getting takeaway. So we're still winning my loves. And I've got two packs of these burger bones and I love the brand name Bimbo. <laughs> it's 
such a bimbo. I wonder what this means in Portuguese, but we all know what it means in English. You bimbos, you bunch of bimbos. Wow, yeah, look at that view, it's grassy. Oh, what a nice view. Can you see the villa? That's like such a nice villa there. I don't know where I'm pointing. Yeah, mashallah, such a nice villa. I don't even know if you can see it. Just look at that beautiful sunset, mashallah. So nice. <coughs> look how cute this colourful popcorn is. Oh, I wish they saw this in the UK. Maybe they do somewhere, but it looks so cute. Oh, you like it? It looks so cute, eh? And we've got some biscuits for dessert. These are really tasty, aren't they? Good afternoon, everyone. So. Akil just came back from shopping, he managed to pick up some halal chicken or frango halal and uh, yeah looking forward to having this. We're going to have it grilled on the barbecue inshallah. So we got two of these and yeah I'm just excited that's what I'm showing you. It's from the Pingo Dose supermarket near the McDonald's in Albufeira. And it's time for lunch so I'm making some tuna pasta. Ayub is camouflaging into the sofa. Are you my baby? Thank you for that. Just lying around like the shisha. Your pasta's nice and ready, mashallah. Mm. Right, I need to go pray. But I'm hungry, so I'll serve one separate. Right, ooh, look at the cheese, mashallah, nice. Okay, I'll stop stabbing it. See you in a bit, pasta. Dinner is served. Chicken looks yummy. Mashallah. So we're gonna have dessert now. Having this really lovely Swiss roll. It's got like a chocolate inside it. Some chocolate ice cream. Very, very nice, mashallah. And I'm gonna put on um, The Silence on Netflix. Um, it's similar to like Bird Box and what's the other one? There's another one very similar to that. Uh, yeah. So hopefully that's our night of entertainment and dessert joy. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. 